If you're like me and you've gone out and bought the new Sony A7R Mark V, then you will have probably been out, taken some photos, got back to your computer, loaded up Lightroom, and found this. At this moment in time, at the point of recording this, unfortunately, Adobe haven't supported the files from the A7R Mark V when you're using uncompressed RAW, but fear not, there is a solution, a workaround on how to get your RAW files working with Adobe Lightroom, and I'm gonna show you that right now. The first thing you need to have done is move the files from your SD card from the camera onto a folder inside your SSD on your computer. Then you need to load up the internet and go to xiftool.org and download whichever one is suitable for the system that you're using, whether it's Windows or Mac OS. Once the download is complete, make sure you install that and you are good to go. What this little bit of software is going to do is convert it from A7R Mark V over to A7R Mark IV, which Adobe Lightroom can support at this moment in time. Now, the little bit of code I'm about to show you is something which I've partially worked out myself, but I cannot take full credit for this. When I got this problem the other day, I looked on Google, came across a forum where they were talking about this code and took this code and then worked out the rest of it for myself. Now, what you need to do is run a command in Windows if you're using Windows. Unfortunately, I don't know how to do that. I haven't used a Windows computer in a very, very long time. But the code is the exact same to what I'm gonna show you. And if you're using Mac OS, you need to open up Terminal. The code that you need to run on Terminal as a command in Windows is the one on screen. I will leave it down in the description box below so you can just copy and paste it to make it easier. What we're gonna do is go over to Terminal and paste that in. And then before you press Enter, you need to get the directory to where you saved the raw files. So let's come over to Finder, let's choose one of the files that we've copied over, which are the raw files from the SD card. We're gonna to go to get info, and then the directory is here where it says where. We want the whole section of that. One thing to remember is that you cannot have any spaces in any of the file names. For instance, if your folder is A7RV videos, you cannot have it with a space between the two Vs. The same thing can be seen here where it says raw photos and SD card. Naturally, you would separate them two words in each bit, uh, but you can't when you're doing this command. So make sure you go back through all your folders and make sure there's no space in any of the names. We're gonna copy all that, then go over to terminal and paste that in. Now, another thing to remember is you need a space between the R and then the first forward slash where it goes into users. Make sure that space is there. Once you've done that, you can hit enter, Go back to the original folder and now you will see raw files and the original raw files from the SD card. At this stage, you can select all of them and then drag them straight into Lightroom and then they are there ready to be selected and imported. Obviously, at this moment in time, we don't know how long it's going to be until Adobe supports the A7R Mark V. So what I'd recommend you do is have a folder for all your conversions, put all your raw files in, use the same code every single time, convert everything, and then move them outside that folder. Um, and if you want, you can delete the original raw files which are off the SD. Something to bear in mind is the EXIF data that you convert to may not be 100% correct. Obviously, it won't be because obviously it's not A7R Mark V. I'm no expert when it comes to EXIF data, but I don't think it will degrade any of your raw files. They look absolutely fine when I've edited them. So far, the A7R Mark V has been truly amazing. I've really enjoyed using it over the last few days. And over the next few weeks, we're making plenty of videos about the A7R Mark V. So if you want to see that, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the bell for all your notifications, and I will see you right there. Thanks for watching.